Hi, I'm Kim Forston from Old Town Athletic Club in Warrenton, Virginia, and we're discussing the mind-body connection today. I'm with Betsy Strademan today. She's a member of the Old Town Athletic Club and she's been a dear friend of mine for many years. Betsy is a licensed professional counselor. She's a marriage and family therapist and she's worked in the mental health profession for over 20 years. Betsy, how would you describe the mind-body connection as it applies to our health? Well, I think it's um, really the basic fundamental connection between what happens with our brains um, affects our bodies and vice versa. And I think that people have often separated the two. They see the body as a machine distinct from the brain and uh, that has not been helpful to our health. Um, for, you know, in ancient times there was very clear connection between the mind and body. They were not seen as two distinct systems. Um, then in more modern times, modern, um, you know, 17th century, when m medicine became more modern, uh, the body was seen as a separate entity, as a machine separate from the, from the mind. But more recent research has shown that the mind-body connection is really critical to our overall health. And that what we do and the thoughts we have and the feelings we have are expressed in us physically. So if we are stressed and we are anxious and we are worried, which we think of that happening in our mind, well, that's also happening in our body. And if we are relaxed and we are at peace with ourselves, that we think of that as thoughts of thoughts, thoughtfulness, but that's also that thoughtfulness is reflected in our blood pressure, uh, in our, the way in which we, our body is able to heal itself. Uh, there's a lot of research about the importance of the mind-body connection in terms of pain management. So it's very important to know that the good things that you do for your mind, whether that be in, the way, in terms of the way you think, um, also have implications in terms of the way your body functions and vice versa. The good nutrition that we think about for our body is also providing good nutrition to our brain and our brain needs oxygen and nutrition and nutrients in order to function correctly and if our brain is functioning well the rest of our body is functioning well. So it's an integral system. So it sounds like what you're saying is um, I find that many people um, try to separate the two, where they think the mind, uh, mind over matter, or um, they just talk about their, their, the physical fitness of themselves, and they really don't uh, um, think, of, think of it as, as, a, as a real connection. And it sounds like what you're saying is, it is what it is, mm -hmm. that we all are connected through our minds and our bodies, and it is really the way that, that we work. What are some steps? our viewers can take to improve their overall health um, through becoming a little more aware of the mind-body connection? Well, I, a simple thing that people can do is be aware of themselves in this moment. Uh, they call that mindfulness. And be, rather than thinking about the next 10 things you have on your list of, to do, pay attention to where you are right now. And pay attention to how you're thinking and feeling and pay attention to how you're breathing and be reflective of where you are in this moment. One of the things that I really like about um, the group fitness classes that I take is that you're very good about making us aware of being paying attention to where we are in the room. So instead of thinking about the grocery list that I'm compiling in my mind when I pay attention to being in the, in the room, in the fitness room, I'm much more aware of my heart rate. I'm much more aware of the steps I'm taking. I'm much more aware of my uh, performance of the exercise. And that's really good because that's helping my muscles and that's helping my mind get the, um, increasing my circulation. I'm really much more focused on my physical activity if I'm paying attention to it when I'm doing it. So just being present in the moment is a really important thing. And I think another thing that's critical and I think that uh, people lose track of this is the connection between thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. That each one influences the other. 
And if uh, that's called cognitive behavioral therapy. <clears throat> that is one of the most important forms, uh, well-researched um, forms of therapy in terms of the treatment of depression and anxiety. Uh, it really helps people to have a sense that what they think impacts how they feel and impacts how they behave. And it sounds like it kind of feeds on itself. You know, mm -hmm. there's a saying that says, uh, um, whether you think you can or you can't, you're probably right. Exactly. And so that's exactly kind of what you're alluding to, that our thoughts um, provoke our actions. Absolutely, absolutely. And similarly, if we are thinking negatively, but we do something positive, it can shift our thinking. So we really don't want to go for that walk, but we do it anyway. It shifts our feelings. So we don't have, we can intervene and we don't have to be prisoners to any of those mm -hmm. things. Um, so, uh, and they have found that that co um, combats depression, it combats anxiety to use that cognitive be behavioral therapy. And what they, there's a lot of research, a very sound research about the importance of, of the mind-body connection in terms of the uh, addressing disease, diabetes, stress, pa um, pain reduction. Uh, it's very, very important to have a sense of how you're thinking and how that's influencing how your body's functioning. Betsy, you've given us some great information today. If we were going to recap for our viewers, how could we put it all together and provide some simple steps for everyone? So I feel like there's maybe five basic things that people can keep in mind that would really help them to make a positive improvement in themselves and to feel better about themselves. What I would really stress is that people recognize the mind-body connection, that the mind and the body operate in synchrony, and it's really important that they do. And the things that you do to, to better your body take, help your mind and vice versa. So having that mind-body connection I think will benefit all of us. A really nice way and a very simple way to become in touch with the mind-body connection is through breathing, through mindful breathing. Simply sitting and paying attention to your breathing, being aware of the way the breath goes in through your nose and fills up your lungs and your abdomen and slowly releasing that breath. That is a really wonderful strategy for becoming in touch with the way in which a physical act, breathing, affects your mental state. And you will notice that your blood pressure goes down, your anxiety goes down, your heart rate goes down. And so breathing is a really simple strategy to become aware of that. And while you're breathing, that is a function of mindfulness. And mindfulness is being in the moment. And the more we are able to operate in this moment without thinking about the 20 things that happened in the past that we can't do a daggone thing about, or the 50 things in the future that we have no control over now, the more we're in the moment, the healthier and happier we'll be. And I think it's really critical to, su to surround ourselves with like-minded people, like-minded people to the positive, like-minded people who have similar values, who are trying to take good care of themselves, take good care of their families, take good care of their communities. That is a really important way to take good care of yourself because they will give you messages that are consistent with where you want to go. And last but not least, I think it's very, very important for each one of us to tell ourselves every day, you know what, I'm worth it. I'm worth taking care of myself. I'm worth being good to myself. And if we tell ourselves that, everything we do will be informed by that message, that I'm worth it. Betsy, thank you so much for sharing this information with us today and for being here with me today. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We'll see you next time.